What is up everyone, this is MoTutorials and today I'm going to show you how to import an Excel or CSV into Google Sheets. So a lot of folks were actually asking like, how do you do this? What do I do? Is it easy? Is it simple? Is it going to break? So, you know, I'm going to answer all your questions over here. Now, Google Sheets is basically the free equivalent to Microsoft Excel. It has been getting significantly better over the years. A lot of the formulas are easy to use, uh, especially if you're a data person who's like, whose job is to use Google she uh, Sheets basically and utilizes a lot of data components with SQL and whatnot. Google Sheets is actually pretty good because you can connect it directly to BigQuery, which is Google's like uh, querying platform where you can SQL and get some data from like the data sets and, what, and tables and whatnot. So now spe speaking specifically like moving over Excel into this or CSVs, it's, it's a straightforward process that I'm going to show you what to do. But just to like key call outs is that sometimes so certain formulas break that so, it, to put it this way, Google Sheets does use majority of the same formulas as Excel, but some formulas are a tad bit different. So some of them do break. Now, mind you, Google has been trying to make it more seamless for you to kind of transition from Excel to Google. So they are trying to like capture certain mismatches in formula and like converting it accurately. So everything is like a pure conversion from Google into Excel, which I find great. I like, I love how they're kind of actually going down that route and doing this for for like folks to kind of like easily transition over. So uh, an error that you may be having today may not happen next month or next year. Uh, the other big one is, which I still see consistently failing, is pivots. Pivots still do not fully convert over into G Sheets from Excel or vice versa from G Sheets into Excel. So either Excel to G Sheets or G Sheets to Excel, they kind of both fail. I think pivots is like the only one that's like a weird anomaly. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, so we're going to basically get into uh, doing uh, this conversion. So what you want to do is you want to click into file and you want to click into something called import. In here, you can either find it in your drive or you can just go to the upload section. And I have the folder right here. I have a folder like right here. And it's some rental income folder that I, I have found from Zillow. And you want to import the data. So let's see, you can do the replace the spreadsheet, replace the tab, et cetera, et cetera, or make a brand new spreadsheet. And you can see it, it had two tabs in it and it copied both over. It has instructions and it has the income and expense worksheet. So you can see over here, like, oh, this is the address. This is the gross income, et cetera, et cetera, right? Like you see the operating expenses, other expenses, monthly expenses, other income, all that other good stuff. And you can see it kind of fully transferred it over to give you a perspective, like everything is still here. Uh, you can see that the dollars are here. It is still having cells are linked there. Let's see if formulas are working. Yep, formulas are still accurately working to give you, see, as you can see, it's still accurately counting the amounts and not the dates as it shouldn't. It's taking the sum of this. So you can see the formulas are all still accurately working. They're all working well. And yeah, <laughs> that's basically it. This is, I just wanted to show you. It's a very simple and straightforward process. Again, majority of the stuff does move over. Some, like I said, some of the complex stuff may still take time, maybe getting moved over. Again, I have done some very complex files and most of them usually end up working per per perfectly fine. Again, usually pivots fail. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification button and that more tutorials out. Peace.